Look, there is one piece of gaming gear on my desk that has lasted longer than any other piece of gaming gear. And it's my SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless headset. I, I can't replace it. Like I have been using the same exact headset for four years and not a single headset has come out since then that is better than it. Like it just has features. Let's just say I'm not willing to lose them and no other headset has them. For example, the hot swappable battery. So you always have a charged headset no matter what. Or that the base station transmitter box can connect to interfaces like a GoXLR or WaveXLR or Beacon Mic because it has a line in input built into it. Or, and the big one for me lately, is the simultaneous 2.4 gigahertz and Bluetooth connections, meaning I can connect to my PC and my phone at the same time. And all the new parents out there with baby monitors on their phone like me, you know that losing that would be a deal breaker. And that's just to name a few, because like you know that there are some other gaming headsets with some of those features on it, but there are zero other gaming headsets with all of those features on it. Like there's a reason it's one best gaming headset of the year. It's just because it's completely unmatched. But today, SteelSeries <coughs> sent me this. They are brand new headsets. So the thing about this is like, obviously unless they like screwed up real bad, it's obviously gonna replace my current SteelSeries headset. The thing is, they added two massive new features, which might make it replace my AirPods Max as like my regular headsets. So I'm excited. Let's jump into it. So look, they sent this to me yesterday, which well, uh, for me, it's today. For you watching, this is yesterday. You're watching this on the 24th. It is, well, it's 1.40 a.m. on the 24th. They sent this to me. Whoa, 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 what is that? Hey, so uh, wanna hear something really sad? <laughs> I accidentally shot that top-down footage in Blackmagic RAW instead of ProRes, so it was basically uneditable. And so, in order to fix this, I installed a Final Cut extension from a company called Color Finale that allows you to transcode B-RAW into ProRes. Unfortunately, that took about 12 hours, and when it was done, <laughs> There was a fat watermark on my footage. I went through the entire terms of service of the seven day free trial. I looked all over their website. There is zero warning that at the end of this 12 hours, they're gonna ruin your footage. So it is what it is. Enjoy the watermark. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna consider it an advertisement to not use color finale stuff until they get rid of that because that's not okay. Anyway, back to the video. It's gonna be a little bit of a rough night. <laughs> Luckily, we've been using their previous high-end headset for like four years now, so we can use that as like a baseline because I know I loved that one. We have a first edition plaque. We got some cards here. They have some codes on the back, so I'm not gonna be turning those around. Look at this booklet. You are a god now, so do what gods do. Play. <laughs> Gosh. Let's pull this thing out. We are uh, like six hours until this goes live and I haven't even opened it yet. What do I do with this when I'm done? Keep it and store stuff in it? It's a really nice box. I don't know what it is with Xbox not being easily supported by headsets because every one of these I see, like you have a PC and PS4 version and then you also have an Xbox version, which is weird because you'd think PC and Xbox, they're both Microsoft, I don't know. By the way, I'll be putting a link to this as soon as it's available on Amazon in the link down below. That is an affiliate link, so thank you. By the way, if you click on that, it helps out the channel. Appreciate it. What is this? We got a cable and the extra battery. These batteries are tiny. The last batteries were two to three times larger than this thing. All right, moment of truth. Oh, let's open up the game deck first. Let's leave the, the big moment for last. Here we go. All right, new game deck, much, I'd say it's about the same size. A bit of a sleeker front. I like the bigger button. USB one and USB two align in and align out. What are USB one and two for? USB one goes into piece. Oh, it's the same. They're both just USB inputs. It did say on the feature set that you could switch back and forth between two different inputs, which is really cool. I wonder if you can do one of the inputs and line in at the same time, because that would be a game changer. Then this little battery, so battery just slides in like that. And this one charges while the other one's in your headset. Like, I feel like it'd be so easy with how big of corners companies cut nowadays to be like, oh, hey, look, you can charge one battery while you're using the other. Second battery comes separate. 
Oh, they give you both. All right, let's take a look at this. This is a very different feel than the last one. The leather feels much more premium. I love these metallic, I don't think they're actually metal. It's definitely plastic, but I love the metallic look to these. And then USB cable under there, wonder what that's for. And this side is the battery. That's where you swap it out on the left side. The right side, I was holding it backwards. <laughs> oh, these are comfy. They're now extendable. You have the volume rocker here, which is nice. It's out of the way. I kept bumping it on my other ones when I put them on and so I have to like constantly check to make sure it's turned up. That's taken care of. You got the microphone turned on and off. You got power there. You've got Bluetooth on this side. And then another nice touch, you have the microphone here, which now fits flush. Again, like one of the two features I mentioned that might make this like a regular headset for me and replace my AirPods is they look like just nice, regular headphones. They don't look like giant, beefy headphones. Should I grab the other ones to compare? Let me grab them real quick. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> As I say that and put them next to each other, there's not a huge difference in size. I think it's just, and by the way, I love these headphones, but I think it's just the, like the blocky style of them that make them look so much bigger with these kind of smaller circular bevels. It, it like shrinks down like the perceived size a little bit. And versus like a, a you know, a felt or a mesh headset, these are like leather. So I don't know if you like leather. I'll have to see if they get like hot and sweaty. What do you guys think? Stylish enough for everyday use. Now they didn't send me a price and by the time I realized it, offices were closed for the day. So when this goes up in about six hours, Hopefully, I'm gonna take a look at what the prices are and I'm gonna put it in the pinned comment down below. So while you're down there, checking that out and seeing what the price is, um, go ahead and leave a comment of your own, of your own headset opinion. Or, you know, if you don't have a headset opinion, just leave your favorite emoji and help out by adding some engagement to this video and helping out the channel, thank you. Oh, and then also while you're down there, just hit the like button, so appreciate you. Thanks. Now I've got the feature list here. There are a couple features that I absolutely have to try that make this different. Oh my gosh, the strap feels way nicer too. Anyway, sorry, I got distracted there. Uh, a couple features that I have to try. First one being, these are active noise canceling headphones. So I wanna try this side by side with my AirPods Max and see how that actually sounds because that's feature number two that might make me replace those for day-to-day -day use, maybe going to the gym or something. Their new software is something I'm gonna have to take a look at. And then it says 360 degrees spatial audio. And they kind of take point to say that this isn't just a stereo signal that's been widened with things like reverb and whatever, which is apparently pretty typical when it comes to like spatial audio, but it's actually a 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound track that is algorithmed, that's, not a verb, we're gonna make it a verb. Algorithmed into headset audio. I've never used spatial audio because I generally just go out of the headset jack of my interface into the back of the DAC here. But if I can do line in and USB at the same time, I can send my voice and chat and everything into here and then just have my game audio go straight into USB and try direct digital spatial audio. This could be really dope. Let's plug it in and take a listen. All right, PC's all ready, let's plug this thing in. I got a game installed, of which I know the sound very well. So let's try that first. Let's see how these things sound. You know what, why don't we pull up Stream Beats, you know? If we're gonna listen to something, let's listen to something good. Oh, you don't know what Stream Beats is? Well, while I'm pulling it up, why don't I tell you? Stream Beats is uh, the number one source of copyright free, DMCA free music for Twitch streamers and YouTubers. Uh, it's all completely free. It's on Spotify, on Apple Music. There are over 1,500 tracks and 16 genres. Really anything you're looking for for music in your, in your streams or in your YouTube videos, it's there. And you can download them for free at streambeats.com. It's really convenient that this is taking forever to load because I got to give you the whole spiel. Yeah, use Stream Beats in your video, totally free. There you go. Let's pull up the Groove album because I know this one really well. So far sounds good to me. I think this sounds a lot better than the last one. I'm just hearing a lot more detail in the highs. Sounds, this sounds good though. It is either equal or better to the previous model and I, I really enjoy the Arctis Pro Wireless. Yeah, detail is crisp. Music sounded good. Very happy with that. Let's try plugging in a mic. 
This is the Beacon mic. We're gonna go out of the headphone jack on the back <laughs> and into the line in and let's see if we can get the audio from this and from the game at the same time. Because if that's the case and I can get awesome surround sound like 7.1 or 5.1, but then also hear my mic and to have the all the mixing capabilities that this brings, that's gonna be kind of a game changer. How about now? Oh. Oh, well, there we go. This and game. This and game. There seems to be more than normal latency though. The last headset had considerably lower latency than this. Yo, check, 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 check. So good news and bad news with this. The way I had my base station set up on my last setup was I would mix everything on my Beacon or my Go XLR or whatever my interface was at the time, mix everything in there, go out of the headphone jack into the line in on the base station. And then basically this thing now works as just a super fancy wireless transmitter to my headset. There was for sure a tiny bit of latency, but nothing noticeable. I'm gonna have to mess around with it a little bit more, but so far it looks like there is a little bit more latency on this model than the last one. I'm not sure exactly why, it's still the 2.4 gigahertz, but it's probably not something I'm gonna be able to discover for sure before I finish filming this video, cause you know, it's three and this is going up in five hours, but as I figure these things out, test them out a little bit more, jump into my live stream. I stream on my personal YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Harris Heller, and uh, I'll, I'll talk about it more during the live stream. You can ask some questions in there, so maybe follow up on some of these things. It's not like a delay where it throws you off and it does like the speech jammer thing, but it is enough to be annoying. Like if you like hearing your voice back in your headset like I do, so far this is kind of a problem. Yo, check, yo, check, whoa. What happened? Since the last time I talked into this, the latency has gone down. Has it? Or did it just get quieter? I can't tell, let me turn it up a little bit. Yo, check. Cause it now feels like, uh, it still feels like there's a tiny bit more delay. Again, not enough, like it's still not messing up my speech. I'll probably, if I use this system, I'll probably have to turn down the mic monitor a little bit and get used to that. Cause there is a little bit of a delay. And that's gonna drive me nuts. Let's check out the noise cancellation next though. All right, noise cancellation. It says to turn it on, you just press the power button once, which I think is on this side. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh, wow. And then you go into transparency mode. So this is a lot like AirPods actually. You have, you have it on, you have it off, and you have transparency mode. You double tap it. Yeah, transparency mode doesn't feel as transparent as the AirPods Max, but active noise canceling is very good. I've always been a little nervous to game with noise canceling on because it does kind of adjust the sound. Let's give it a shot. That's pretty good. That actually sounds really natural. Oh, that's solid all around. Yeah, I'm very happy with that experience. And last thing I really wanted to check here is their software. Most importantly, the spatial audio. It looks like they've been upping their game on their software, which makes me very, very happy because I feel like a lot of gaming software, for, especially for peripherals, is pretty weak. I'm looking at you, Logitech G-Hub, but let's turn on spatial audio. Tuning's towards performance, which looks like it focuses on directionality and localization, and then immersion, which improves the environmental effects. So let's turn it all the way towards performance. We got some explosions going on in the background, but I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of hard to tell without anyone shooting at you or listening to footsteps, you know? I mean, it sounds great. I'm not complaining about it. But it might have to be something I try out over the course of a couple weeks and keep you guys updated as I mess around with it and try it with it off and with it on. What happens if we turn it towards immersion? Oh, that's very different. That's interesting. Immersion sounds more like that super widened stereo. There's just so much more depth. My footsteps sounded like they were eight feet below me. So that would be another thing to jump into my live stream for and follow up in about a week or so when I've had more time with this and, and see how things are going there. And I mentioned there's one problem with this that's gonna drive me nuts. And that is that the top isn't flat because I mount mine under my desk. I like to keep as few things on the top of my desk as I can, and I don't mess with the controls on here because I use like an actual interface or like the whole beacon setup. So I just mount this under my desk and stick it to my desk, but I can't do that with this little bump. I'll just have to use extra 3M strips there and problem solved. Overall, very excited to try this at my setup, excited to try it in game with the new surround sound features, excited to try it at the gym and see how it feels, see if it doesn't get too sweaty, see how the, the noise canceling works, you know, compared to my AirPods. Lots of things to follow up on and really spend a couple weeks messing around with. But so far, 
It seems like the previous Arctis Pro Wireless with nothing but little things added to it and upgraded and moved forward. So that's a win in my book. I guess it just depends on where they decide to price it. Let me know what you think about the headset in the comments down below. And if you're still watching the video and you haven't hit the like button yet, please do so. You obviously like the video because you're still here. I'll see you around over in my next live stream on my personal channel. And as always, happy streaming.